Okay, so quick tip for shot lines. Uh, first, let me clear these. And yeah, do this. So you see what I click and stuff. All right, okay. So let me hide this. Oh, this is too big. Shit. Okay. So now I have these shot lines on the car, which look okay when rendered. And obviously, because this is just for rendering, that's clearly what I want. Oh yeah, this takes some time. Sure. Okay. So it looks like a sticker because that's pretty much what it is. It's just um, some curves that I project onto the car. So the way I do it is create a curve, which could be a path. I go into edit mode and just rotate it, move it, and then from side view I can just quickly model these curves like this at first. And then I can add some subdivisions which will make those corners a bit more like corners. Adjust the curvature a little bit. I'm not going to redo the whole thing now. And then from the modifiers you can just add a shrink wrap from here. Select car's body as your target and then set the wrap method to project. Select the correct axis which is X and also set it to negative and positive so it wraps onto the surface nicely. You can also offset it a little bit not by too much like this is too much but by one maybe so it doesn't clip into the body then you can add some geometry to it because now it's it's just a line so it's not visible in renders so here in the geometry tab you can just extrude it you can set your own values 5 mm sure and then just give it a dark material so then it's fine or for some different use, if you actually want this to be um, geometry and not just a sticker, like you want to create a print of this or something, then it's better for you to first connect these so they don't overlap. So I'm actually going to delete these. I just need the door for now. And just join them with F. Okay, and I don't need this one either. Yeah, creates a weird corner here. Maybe I don't want it like that. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so now what I will do is instead of making it a plane uh, like like this, I will give it some uh, depth. But if I just do it like this, then you cannot see the difference because 
still has the shrink wrap. So if I don't have the shrink wrap, you can see that it became a tube. But because it shrink wraps it onto the surface or projects it, it also projects the entire mesh with it. So, so for that, I'm first not going to do this, but first convert this into a mesh so that it applies the modifiers as well. Oops, like so. Now you can go into edit mode and check that it's all very nicely connected. But then I go back and convert it to a curve again so I can create the tube. And now you can see that this tube has a pretty shit resolution. So here you have a button for that, so I can increase that to, let's say, 16. And I can shade it smooth so it looks nicely, but it doesn't matter right, right now. So what I'm going to do next is select my body. And first I will apply these modifiers, because let's say I want to print this. And then I'll add the boolean difference, and I just select this tube, which is still a curve, so it wouldn't work. So first I convert it back to a mesh, so I can actually select it, yeah. And now I can select this and hide it. And now I have an actual cut in the body of the car. This is a bit weird right now because it's still shrink wrapped onto the surface, so I can just slide these edges. But that's also a sticker, so it doesn't matter so much right now. So yeah, and if I want to export this, I can just export it as normal. Uh, for print, STL works best, I think. And then I can just uh, put it onto the desktop. Selection only. Yeah, apply modifiers, sure. And yeah, first make sure it's at the correct scale because right now this is one to one. But now I can export this as an STL. I only selected the body, so I will only have that right now. Um, and now I can open this in some other shitty software as well, but here you can see the preview. So it has the cuts, so great. I guess pretty much that's pretty much it. So.